Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I also go by JB and I am a sports card collector. I have been buying, selling, trading, and again, most importantly, collecting sports cards for most of my life. And the other day I was thinking, hey, there's not enough YouTubers out there or people with opinions or information. And I might need to try and do something about that. So as I have zero social media skills, I have a face made for radio, a voice that I don't like listening to all the time, I said, let's start a YouTube channel. So JB's Card Show is started. I've been collecting cards since 1986 when I was a young boy. I've been selling cards uh, on eBay pretty seriously since about 2010. Um, and during the pandemic, like many of you collectors out there as well, uh, my passion for my collection was, was reignited. And so I have been really contemplating uh, doing more with, uh, with the sports cards, maybe making a run at a business. Uh, there's a lot of new tools and platforms out there. Um, there's new grading companies out there. There's just a lot going on in the sports card world. Um, from young kids to collecting to guys, you know, dropping millions of dollars on, on cards uh, as an investment. So there's a lot going on. Um, I personally have a, have, a, have a small niche that I, that I collect, but I have a big passion about it. And so I would like to share that with everyone that I can. In my, in my years of collecting and travels, I have picked up a thing or two um, about buying, selling, grading uh, that I would love to share. Upcoming videos might include the million card collection that I purchased and what I've done to sort and break it down, how I do stuff like that. My criteria for, for what card should be graded uh, by a professional grading company my assessment of some of the major grading companies, their differences, uh, my opinion, it will be my opinion on them. So um, I'm excited for a lot of uh, what I can you know, put out to you guys. Um, we'll start that off with a 20 card SGC sub that I had lying around. Um, I'll show that to you in just a minute. But um, you know, again, JB's card show on whatnot, um, where you can catch me live. Um, I'll be putting out videos as I can. I might actually get decent at making them. Thanks for checking me out, and hopefully I will be uh, bringing more stuff to offer you guys. All right, I happen to have a 20-card uh, SGC sub that I just got back here recently. Um, messed up a previous take and uh, had it already sliced open. I'm going to try this again. Do it a little bit better you know i'm just learning this and uh, trying to get better at it so um this is 10 cards of mine and 10 cards of a buddy that trusts me to send his cards in for him um, so this will be a little bit of what i personally collect what i resell uh, and then some other random stuff that uh, that my buddy has i think they are going to be pretty nice uh, but this is just going to be fun to share as we look through them. So I'm going to, again, I, I just opened it up recently, but uh, let's slide these out. All right. Throw the paper off there. Let's see if I can hide. I want to do a reveal here. I want to do a reveal. See that and first up <sighs> Peyton Manor card 1998 tops number 360 this one did not do as well as I expected um, I thought this was a solid nine so um, SGC the graders over there obviously saw something that I did not see um, which is beautiful centering I don't see any any uh, chipping on the edges. I don't see any corner issues. 
Uh, I don't know what happened here. I don't know what I missed. Sometimes you just got to kind of say, oh, well, on these ones. But uh, it's a Peyton Manning rookie card. You can't go wrong there. <clears throat> Next up. Oh, this one's nice. Um, Yao Ming rookie card, numbered out of 999. It's a 0203 UD Generations with uh, Wilt Chamberlain. I, I'm happy with this grade right here. Um, it's a it's a it's kind of an old school um, cardboard stock, and they do tend to chip. And it's hard to see on the white ones, uh, the white bordered cards. Um, you can see them on you know the darker color, black, blue, red, whatever when it chips. A um, little bit harder on the white ones, but I thought this one may have a little bit of chipping along the bottom, and I thought maybe a maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny corner touch. Um, but I am really pleased with this one. Um, the 9 on the Yao Ming rookie card, and I'm going to have to decide what to do with this one. Next card. Oh, happy with this, happy with this. Down here in San Antonio, um... Gotta gotta have a decent amount of Cowboys, Spurs, Rangers, Strohs, and Mavs. So I'm not personally a fan of the boys. Don't hate them, don't love them. But the Dak Prescott rookie card, the optic red and yellow prism grades out at a 9.5 mint plus. I'm happy with that. You know, with the 9s, 9.5s, 10s. You cannot tell the difference with the naked eye, so I'm not even going to try to guess why it may have been done a 9.5 instead of a 10, but that is, that's a pretty card. I'm happy with that. Michael Jordan, third year, 88, 89 Fleer, 6.5, excellent mint plus. I thought that would actually be better. I had it pegged at an 8, honestly, myself. I I see that it is a little bit off-center, but I didn't think that has, has it down to that 6 level. I don't see any edge chipping. I don't see any surface issues. May, uh, maybe a fleck on the upper left corner. Luckily, this one's uh, going to be a, a PC card. And it's probably the best Jordan that I have. Uh, I haven't been a Jordan collector for long. Um, again, not into hoops the most. I do baseball and football mostly. Um, but you can't ever go wrong having Jordans in your collection. And that one is now mine. John Morant rookie card. 1920 uh, prism draft picks. Neon orange prism. I'm actually pleased with this one. Uh, this card I slabbed specifically to resell. Not a hoops collector, not a rookie prospector of the, of the new guys. I uh, I do vintage, I do junk era, 90s stuff myself. Happy with this grade. It's numbered out of 149, and um, I thought I thought that there may have been a little bit of corner fleck on the back. You won't be able to see it here. So I'm actually, I think that 9 is accurate, and I'm happy with it. And it's a really low-numbered jaw rookie card. One of the hottest players out there. Happy with that. Oh. Charles Barkley rookie card. I say that I'm not a hoops collector, and it's like every card is basketball. Um, but this one, this one I've, I've had for a while. I finally decided to sub this one. I thought... I thought it might get an 8. I thought it might get an 8. Um, this is one of those ones where if grading was more reasonably priced, I might consider crossing over. Just looking at this, I may have to look at it a little bit harder. But this is beautifully centered. There may be tiny, tiny amount of chipping. Tiny amount of chipping. And again, um, you know, uh, the different grading companies kind of treat that factory rough cut chipping differently. I personally think that SGC and Beckett are harder on on the rough cut edges. PSA, I do believe, is more lenient on that specific aspect. If you don't believe me, go and look up some OPG cards. <laughs> check check out some pictures of OPG cards, especially some of the vintage stuff, and, and see how, uh, how Beckett and SGC will grade it versus PSA. 
there are differences in the grading companies. There absolutely are. And uh, we all love to complain about what we get. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm actually, I'm happy with this. It's a personal card, uh, personal collection card, Hall of Fame rookie card. Um, and that 86 Fleer set is absolutely a classic. I like that. Yet another basketball card. Scotty Pippen rookie card that grades out at an 8. I am happy with this. Um, I honestly, I, I think I pegged this one at an 8.5. I thought it was actually going to be an 8.5 myself. So, you know, within the 0.5 uh, of a guess there. Scotty's rookie card. Uh, this one I've, I've had for a little while. I actually can't remember where I picked it up. Had it for a while, finally decided to sub it. Happy with this grade. I've got the Rodman rookie card in a 9. I've got the Reggie Miller rookie card in an 8. Um, you just saw the Jordan card in a 6.5. And Stockton, uh, John Stockton's rookie card, I think I've got it in an 8 as well. So I think I've got most of the big cards in this set graded. And, and again, one of the best looking sets in my opinion. Happy with that one. LeBron James Bazooka rookie card grades out at an 8. This one? Now, LeBron, love him or hate him, you can't go wrong with his cards. And I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess that there's a little bit of wear or a little bit of a chip on this lower right corner. It's beautifully centered. The surface is gorgeous. Back is centered. I don't see any issues on the back there. This is another one where, again, it just... I've, the, the past few subs I've had with SGC, it, it feels like they are grading some of the older stuff like the ultra-modern, um, you know, for better or for worse. But this, this card, you know, I think, you know, a lot of guys would, might look at this and say cross it over. I'll have to decide that. But, um, you know, it's a LeBron James rookie card. It'll probably be going to my PC uh, for now. I've got, a, I've got a handful of LeBrons, not a ton. I'm not a big collector of him, but uh, that for me is a little bit more of an investment card. Ooh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry, 8.5 on the 0910 Panini Prestige rookie card in his Davidson uh, College uniform. This one, this one's sharp. Um, another one that maybe, maybe there is some edge chipping that I'm not picking up that uh, that pulls it down to that 8.5. I thought that the corners were razor sharp. Centering to me looks good. You know, it, it's it's a higher grade. It's 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 not ultra high, but this is this is is not a uh, scrub card right there. It's the only Steph rookie card that I have, and so I'll definitely be holding on to this one for at least for the time being. Unless they win again this year, maybe I will let it go. Nice card. This one, oh, happy, happy with this one, happy with this one. That's the 0708 Tops Kevin Durant rookie card. The black border out of the base set, number 112, grades out at a 9. That's exactly what I did think that this one would grade. Those black borders are super tough. Any touch on the, on the edges, any touch on the corners um, will show... And, and, and to the naked eye, there wasn't anything on this one. I did think that, you know, under magnification, maybe something would show up. But the back, see down here, maybe the tiniest, tiniest little bit of, uh, of flecking off the factory cut. But I am pleased, pleased with that 9 grade for the, for the KD rookie card. And, uh, and again, to, to decide if uh, I hold or sell this one is uh, next step. Nice card. At this point, I do believe uh, that those were my cards right there. I don't collect hoops yet. Most of that was hoops. Um, so the rest of these, is we're just going to do this for fun. This are, these are my boy Tom's. And uh, let's, see what, let's see what he's got. And holy cow. Start off. He, he's an he's a ultra-modern collector. We got a Tom Brady Genesis Prism. I... Don't know all the new shiny parallels, but I do I do know this one, the Genesis Prism. I that's a desirable card. Now it did grade an eight. 
and I'm going to guess, I, I think I see a tiny fleck on that corner and maybe a little bit of factory factory fuzz. I, I, I don't know. I'm looking, eight may be harsh on this one. Eight may be harsh on this one. I'm, I'm not picking up why it, why it could have graded there. I think he might be a little disappointed in that grade. But as it's a Brady Genesis, I, I think he'll uh, end up selling that for pretty good money. Next, oh, an Otani rookie card. We got a, a 2018 Topps Heritage. Grades out at a 9. Again, these... You know these uh, ultra modern cards to get to to know between a nine, nine, five, ten, depends on your mood and the magnification. So I'm not going to guess why it didn't uh, grade higher, but a nine showy rookie card can't be bad. We've got another. And this one is the Topps Chrome Update. Also grades out at a nine. I know he was looking to get some tens um, on these ones, so. He's probably going to be disappointed. Um, looking at it, that's a nice card. And again, I'm not going to guess as to why that didn't grade higher. I can't see. Um, but there's a showy. There's another. Oh, and that one that one graded a 10. So he got, he got a gem, at least one gem there. That's a nice card. You know what, for fun, let's see, let's see. I don't know if I can get these on the camera together. But I'm going to get these on the camera together, and I'm going to look at them side by side, and I'm going to see... If there is actually anything that I can see, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it's the edges. My guess is the edges, and, and you may not see this. I'm gonna guess that this 10 does have cleaner cut edges than this one. The centering, centering looks similar, if not identical. Now this one may be this one may be centered high, but with these borderless cards, that's hard to say. My guess is my guess is on the edges, guys. Um, but we got a 10 and a 9 of the uh, Chrome Update Showy Rookie card. And if I'm a, mispronouncing his name, it's because I don't watch TV and I've never heard it. There's another one. Oh, he's not going to like this. That's an 8 on the Chrome Update number 1. An 8 and an 8 on a shiny card generally indicates a surface issue. Generally indicates a surface issue. Because I don't see any issue on the cut. I don't see any issue on the edges or corners. So there, there, this one might have some surface stuff going on that we missed. So he, he, I don't think he's going to be happy with that one. Then we've got another. All right, another, another showy number one. I think he picked up a collection and was looking to flip a bunch of these. This one. Again, I don't, I don't know. Nine, it's pretty nice, but not the tens that he was hoping for. Okay, here we go. Russell, ooh, Russell Wilson. We got a finest, eight point five near mint to mint plus on the base finest number one forty. Not really sure on this one. Again, maybe, maybe I think it may be a little bit rough cut over on the bottom edge. Nothing jumps out to me on the back that looks completely centered. That's a clean card. Grade feels a little bit rough on that one. Ooh, oh, here we go. All right. LeBron, purple disco prism from 2019-2020. Hoops premium stock. It grades out at a mint plus, 9.5. Uh, again, can't go wrong with uh, LeBron. And, you know, why is it a 9.5 instead of a 9 or a 10? Maybe, maybe on the back side, a, a tiny, tiny rough cut. Hard to see. Looks centered. Yeah, centering looks perfect. Edges look sharp. So that mint 5 uh, or 9.5 mint plus is, is, you know, those are nice grades. You know, a, a lot of chatter out there, you know. 9.5 is a you know 50/50 chance at crossing over to a PSA 10 if if you do that type of thing. I I generally agree with that. Um, if you if you can't pick up why um, why it graded a 9.5 over a 10, um, but you know pretty pretty shiny new card right there. We got two more two more. 
2020 Jonathan Taylor, red, white, and blue prism grades out at a nine. He's probably going to be disappointed with that as well. I'm looking at it and I see perfect centering. Well, maybe centered a little low. Maybe centered a little low. Um, maybe maybe some like uh, residue on the on the edges from the factory cut, which I don't know if I I don't. Oh, there we go. Hold, hold on, right there. Maybe there's a little fleck on the corner on the back side. So um, that that nine and uh, probably spot on. Um, accurate grade, sharp card. It's a you know a JT short print. We can he can hope that uh, he continues to have a have a good career and and uh, you know he'll get to choose what he does with that one. Last card. Uh, this is I think this is this is a big one right here and this is a big one. 2018 Panini unparalleled Josh Allen rookie focus materials whirl. Number 30 out of 50, and it grades out at an 8. Grades out at an 8. 30 out of 50. It's a thick stock. I don't know if I've seen these ones. Yeah, that's kind of cool, the uh, the SGC thick stock case right there. 8.5. Oh, I do. I, there's a there's a little bit of these thick, these thick cards, guys. I, you know, anyone that collects, you all know. Um, the thick cards are uh, notoriously hard. Any any manufacturer, and I I'm gonna say that there's tiny tiny corner flex on both lower corners, and a little bit of rough cut on the upper upper edge of this one right here. Hard to see. It's one of those ones where you got you know you really got to get it in the right light. But this is a sick Josh Allen rookie card with a four color patch. Numbered out of numbered thirty out of fifty, he'll probably be disappointed in the grade, and I can't blame him. But that's still a sick card. So, anyways, that right there, twenty cards from SGC. Some of mine you'll actually be able to catch on my whatnot stream. I'm JB's card show, selling on whatnot, having fun there. Thanks for checking out my. Uh, little video here and hope to see you again.